when Dave asked me to talk about Hope in Darkness, I thought that was something I could do fairly well because I've got a bit of experience of, of my own kind of darkness and what it means to me and how hope came from that and took me forward and brought me to where we are now really. So um, I became a Christian when I was about 12. I wasn't brought up in a church going household. It was through a friend and her family that I started going to church and became a Christian. And then when I was about 17 or 18, for various reasons, I stopped going to church. Uh, I still believed in, in God and still prayed and still believed that prayer was answered, but I didn't go to church anymore and it was, I suppose, really pretty much on my terms. Um, and then in the summer of 2018, I decided that there were things that I wanted to do that were more important than having a relationship of any kind with God, even the very on-off kind of relaxed casual one that I'd been having for 20 odd years. Um, and what I wanted to do in my head didn't feel compatible with even talking to God, so I decided that I wouldn't do that anymore. Um, I wasn't going to talk to him anymore because I knew he'd be saying, stop it, don't do what you're doing. So I made a very conscious choice um, that that was how it was going to be, no more relationship with God. That lasted about two months. Um, and in those two months, I managed to destroy an awful lot of relationships in my life and bring myself an awful lot of misery. And hurt a lot of people and I hit rock bottom and the best thing I can say about rock bottom besides the fact that it's very very dark is that when you're there you can bounce. Um, so having run out of all ideas and any clue how to straighten things out and put things right for myself um, I did the thing I said I wouldn't do anymore and I prayed. I talked to God one morning I said, I can't do this anymore. I said, I know I said I wouldn't talk to you, but I can't do this. I'm fresh out of ideas. I really need some help. And almost immediately that prayer was answered. To a lot of people, the answer to that prayer would have looked like actually being given even more bad news and even more stuff going wrong. But to me, it was very clearly the beginning of an answer to prayer. So I carried on praying. I went back to my old habits, um, talked to God in the car, talked to God in the shower, talked to God just about everywhere. Um, and things carried on getting better um, because I had hope. Hope was back. Um, and I started reading my Bible a little bit and I started to put things right, doing what I knew God wanted me to do. And things carried on improving. Uh, there were some really dark times, there were some really bad times, there were some times when I really felt that I couldn't keep going, but they never lasted as long and I carried on praying and I had people who were helping me and praying for me and picking me up and things have just got better and better and hence I'm able to sit here and talk to you today about hope in the darkness.